top 10 richest families in Africa. Hello Displorers, welcome back to another exciting video and thanks for watching. In today's video, we shall be taking a look at the top 10 richest families in Africa. Africa is a large continent made of many countries and each of these countries have extremely rich people and families. The families on this list either started their business from scratch or inherited their wealth from their previous generations. Either ways, the families on this list have worked their way to becoming some of the richest families in Africa. These families have amassed their wealth either through business, art, religion and or politics. If you're new here, welcome, be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Despite the fact that a billionaire comes from a family does not necessarily mean that the family is a wealthy family. We shall be looking at families that are doing very well collectively with several members of the family thriving at individual levels. So without any further ado, here are the top 10 richest families in Africa. Number 10. The Becker Family $3 billion, South Africa Quite a few members of the Becker family are doing well, but Jacobus Petrus in court schools, Becker, born 14 December 1952, is the most successful member of the family. He is a South African billionaire businessman and the chairman of media group Naspers. The company which operates in 130 countries is listed on the London and Johannesburg stock exchanges and has the largest market capitalization of any media company outside the US and China. After a few years in advertising, he received an MBA degree from Columbia Business School, graduating in 1984. As a result of a project paper, he with a few young colleagues founded one of the first two paid television services outside of the US. Mnet and its sister companies such as MultiChoice eventually expanded to 48 countries across Africa. In the 1990s, he was the founding director of mobile communications company MTN. In 1997, Becker became CEO of Nespers, one of the initial investors in the Mnet MultiChoice group. Nespers bought out the other shareholders. During his tenure, the market capitalization of Nespers grew from about $1.2 billion to $45 billion. His compensation package was unusual in that for 15 years as CEO, he earned no salary, bonus or perks. He was compensated solely via stock option grants that vested over time. He, his wife Karen Roos and their four children are currently amongst some of the richest families in Africa. Number 9. The Ribrap Family $4.1 billion, Algeria Isa Ribrap, born 1944, is an Algerian billionaire businessman. CEO of the Sevital Industrial Group, the largest private company in Algeria, active in steel, food, agribusiness, and electronics. As of January 2020, Ribrap has an estimated net worth of 4.1 billion US dollars. His industrial career started in 1971 when one of his clients proposed he take shares in a metallurgical construction company. He took 20% of the shares in Sotecom. After that, he created other companies in the steel industry. Profilo in 1975 and Metal Cider in 1988. In 1995, his main installations were destroyed in a terrorist attack. After he recognized the risks of staying, Ribrap decided to leave Algeria. He came back in 1998 with Sevital, the biggest group in agricultural business, which later became the largest private Algerian company. Sevital owns one of the largest sugar refineries in the world, with the capacity to produce 2 million tons a year. In 2016, Ribrap acquired El Kaba Media Group for $45 million. This was his second investment into media, as he already owns the French Algerian daily paper Liberté. Ribrap is married with five children Omar Ribrap, Malik Ribrap, Linda Ribrap, Salim Ribrap, and Yazin Ribrap. With the whole family keeping hands on deck, it's a guarantee that the Ribrap family empire will only grow bigger. In 2020, he was sentenced to six months for tax, banking, and customs offenses. Number 8. The Royal Family of Morocco, $4.5 billion The King of Morocco, Mohamed VI, is the country's leading businessman and banker. Along with his family, they hold the majority stakes in the Société Nationale d'Investissement SNE, a holding company which was originally state-owned but was merged in 2013 with Omnium North African ONA Group, to form a single holding company that was taken off the Casablanca Stock Exchange. In 2015, Mohamed VI was estimated by Forbes magazine to be worth 5.4 billion US dollars, and the Moroccan royal family has one of the largest fortunes in the world. Number 7. The Dos Santos Family, $5.5 billion, Angola 
The Dos Santos family is the richest family in Angola. Jose Eduardo Dos Santos, born 28 August 1942, is an Angolan politician who served as president of Angola from 1979 to 2017. As president, Jose Eduardo Dos Santos was also the commander-in-chief of the Angolan Armed Forces FAA and president of the People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola MPLA, the party that has ruled Angola since it gained independence in 1975. From petroleum to mining, banking, real estate, cement, retail, media and entertainment, there are few areas of trade and investment that the Dos Santos family have not spread their reach to. At the hub is Jose Eduardo Dos Santos, the 75-year-old Angolan president who has been in power for 37 years. The family also boasts Isabel Dos Santos, usually referred to as Africa's richest woman with a net worth of about $2.5 billion. She owns banks, telecom companies, a cement factory, a supermarket chain, restaurants, casinos and also holds stakes in various utility firms. Isabel Dos Santos has a vast portfolio of investments in Angola, Portugal, Mozambique and Cap Verde. Other influential names in the family include banker and investor Jose Filomeno de Souza dos Santos, media guru Felvicia Jose dos Santos Pego Chizi, and famous creative Jose Paulino dos Santos, who is popularly known as Coreano Du. Number 6 The Mansour Family $5.6 billion Egypt. The Mansour family is a family from Egypt. Mohammed Mansour, the Egyptian business mogul and billionaire, is known along with his siblings Yassin and Youssef Mansour to have built a business empire stretching across Egypt and a hundred other countries. Mansour said to Forbes that he is currently planning a massive $200 million investment in artificial intelligence, AI, and other futuristic technologies, betting that such an investment would prove hugely profitable in the long run. With a net worth totaling at about 2.3 billion US dollars, Mansour is the richest member of his family and currently stands as one of the wealthiest businessmen in Egypt and Africa. The siblings have taken the helm of the Mansour group after their father's passing four decades ago and have since completely overhauled the company and built close ties with massive business conglomerates the world over, like Chevrolet, Marlboro, General Motors and Caterpillar. Youssef Mansour is currently worth $1.2 billion and his brother Yassin Mansour is currently worth $2.2 billion and together they have a net worth of about $5.6 billion. Number 5. The Adenuga Family $7.5 billion Nigeria Michael Adeniyi Adenuga Jr. GCON is a Nigerian billionaire businessman and the second richest person in Africa. His company Globacom is Nigeria's second largest telecom operator which has a presence in Ghana and Benin. He owns stakes in Equatorial Trust Bank and the oil exploration firm Cornell. Mike Adenoga was once a humble taxi driver in the United States. Today he sits on a multi-billion dollar Nigerian corporation with a net worth of $7.3 billion according to Forbes. Mike Adenoga is Nigeria's second richest man. The self-made billionaire made his first million at age 26, selling lace and distributing Coca-Cola. In 2003, Mike founded Nigeria's second largest mobile phone network, Globacom, and consequently hit a gold mine. Mike, fondly referred to as the Bull, also owns a homegrown oil exploration company called Corner Producing Limited. We'll have to keep an eye on his eight children to see how the Adenuga family empire grows. Number 4 The Oppenheimer Family, $7.7 billion, South Africa. For 85 years until 2012, the Oppenheimer family occupied a controlling spot in the world's diamond trade. It all started in 1917 when Sir Ernest Oppenheimer, a diamond and gold mining entrepreneur, founded the Anglo-American Corporation of South Africa and became chairman of the De Beers Diamond Company in 1929. His son, Harry Oppenheimer, was also the chairman of both the Anglo-American Corporation and the De Beers Consolidated Mines. Nicky Oppenheimer, Harry's son and the heir to the family's fortune, was the third generation of his family to run the beers. Today, Oppenheimer's net worth stands at $7.6 billion, which makes him the richest man in South Africa and making the family the richest in Africa, according to Forbes. Nicky's only son, Jonathan, is currently the director of E. Oppenheimer and Son Limited. Number 3. The Rupert Family, $8.5 billion, South Africa. Anton and Johan Rupert are familiar names in South African business circles with the father-son duo both featuring on Forbes' list of billionaires in their own eras. 
from selling cigarettes in his garage to building the tobacco and industrial conglomerate Rembrandt, Anton Rupert's story is one for the books. In 1998, Rembrandt split into Remgrow, an investment company with financial, mining and industrial interests, and Richmond, a Swiss-based luxury goods group. Anton's son, Johann Rupert, is now the chairman of Compagnie Financière Richmond, known for the brands Cartier and Montblanc. Johann Rupert's net worth currently stands at $6.5 billion, according to Forbes, while his late father Anton Rupert had a net worth of about $2.3 billion. Johann has three children, Anton Jr., Haneli, and Caroline. Number 2. The Sawiri Family, $10.3 billion, Egypt. The Sawiris are the wealthiest family in Egypt. Onsi, head of the family, founded Orascom Construction in 1950 but faced strong headwinds early in his career when Gamal Ando Nazar nationalized his company. On the third, Onsi rebuilt Orascom from scratch under the more business friendly presidency of Anwar Sadat, creating what eventually became Orascom Construction Industries. His three sons now run the conglomerate, which operates in three major sectors construction, telecommunications, and tourism. Two of Onsi's sons, Nasef and Naguib, are also billionaires. Nasef, who took over the company from his father in 1995, is currently ranked 251st on Forbes' list of billionaires with a net worth of $7 billion, while his brother, Naguib Sawiris, is worth $3 billion. Number 1. The Dangote Family, $12 billion, Nigeria The Dangote's family is hands down the richest family in Africa. Aliko Dangote is the richest member of the family, as well as Africa's richest man with a net worth of $11.3 billion, according to Fabes. Dangote founded and chairs Dangote Cement, the continent's largest cement producer, and his fortune amounts to about 3% of Nigeria's total GDP. Dangote also owns stakes in publicly traded salt, sugar, and flour manufacturing companies. Dangote came from a rich family. His great grandfather was the richest man before his death. Because of Dangote's success, most of his family members have been able to establish successful businesses. Not much is known about the heirs of the Dangote group, but between Dangote's three daughters, Halima Belo Dangote, Maria Dangote, and Fatima Dangote, and his adopted son, Abdul Rahman Fazasi, there are a few successors to keep an eye on. There you have it, Disparis. Those were the top 10 richest families in Africa. Thanks for watching this video. If you want us to cover any of your top 10 topics, leave a suggestion in the comments and we will do well to grant your request. Also, if you did enjoy this video, do well to give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe and share with your friends.